dark among the stars. The god is dead. I had a dream. Almost like a premonition. There's an attack coming. My lord, this one will fall. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. How do you know your team's strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life, find out what that reason is. They said the age of heroes would never come again. All right, guys, I'm back with another freestyle video, by the way. No script. So if I stutter, y'all know it's a freestyle. Y'all got to be all like, why he stuttering? But I'm not going to be stuttering because I know all my information on this and whatever else is coming out in the next week or so. So we're in the month of March. And if you don't know what's going on in the month of March, is we got the Zack Snyder Justice League movie or series coming out this month. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll be gladly to talk about it, but we need to talk about both versions in this video, not just his version, but the original. Well, I wouldn't say the original version because it's not the original version, but it's just the movie that came out a couple years back. So if you didn't know, Josh Whedon was the director to the Justice League movie that came out that everybody done seen on TV that's been playing on TNT like it's going out of style. Cartoon Network is going to play it or they did play it already. I don't know. But. That's the version of Justice League that we got in theaters, on DVD, Blu-ray, wherever you fucking watching it, you're watching it. And that's the one people dislike the most. Everybody said it was ass. It was trash. It was garbage. It was all that stuff. Now, me personally, I liked it. But then I like superhero movies regardless. Where they all team up and they go fight somebody. The only superhero movie that I did not like is Green Lantern. And I'm a big Green Lantern fan. I was heartbroken when I found out that movie was ass. But the reason why Josh Whedon got to direct it because the original director mr Zack snyder had to take time off and he had to take time off for a very very good reason a tragedy struck in his family and he had to leave he had to go be a man a husband a father and had to go grieve with his family because a certain piece of the family is not with us anymore and so he had to leave now this is where i look at wb sideways because he just lost somebody in his family and instead of, you know, holding off and letting him go do his thing with his family and stuff and be like, hey, we're going to leave the project alone. We're going to let you go handle your family because it's a tough time for you and your crew. No. Instead, they pass off the rights to Josh Whedon, who also worked on Avengers Ultron and Avengers movie. Yeah, I don't think he worked on Infinity War Endgame, but I could be wrong. So as time goes on, he's making the movie. And like I said, it's ass. So everybody said it's ass couple years later we find out i forgot who gave us the details on a Zack snyder script of what his justice league was supposed to be i think it was the i forget his name but i do remember him from jay and silent bob the fat dude him i forget his name i'm pretty sure everybody in the comments would tell me what his name is his name probably will pop up in my head i tend to forget him but I always remember the, the the big dude from jay and silent bob i think silent bob the dude that plays silent bob so he tells us what Zack Snyder's vision of what the Justice League was going to be. And to pretty much just to run it down for you, they was going for a trilogy or whatever you call four movies. 
The first movie was supposed to be the Justice League losing the dark side. Okay. Third movie. No, I think the first movie was them beating Steppenwolf and them coming to realization that Steppenwolf was just being sent down by dark side to scout out the planet. Second movie was probably them losing the dark side and his crew. Third movie was their redemption arc and them going and taking the fight to Dark Side and beating Dark Side and killing Dark Side. And I think they said something about going back in time where the Flash goes back in time. That scene that Bruce had in the Batcave and the Flash was all like something about Martha or some shit. I don't know. I think that was Flash going back in time telling him, like warning him about Dark Side. And that was supposed to be his trilogy. We were supposed to see Green Lanterns, Martian Manhunter. We were supposed to, I think Robin was supposed to pull up somewhere. Um, Superman, black suit. Now, they do have him in a black suit in the trailers. Uh, I think something about Aquaman or Mira, Wonder Woman, uh, Cyborg, all, all that. I, I know for a fact Green Lantern was supposed to pop up. Because in one of the scenes in Justice League, uh, Alfred looks up and, he's, uh, and he told Superman, uh... Mr. Wayne said we would be expecting you. It was not supposed to be Superman. From what I've read, it was supposed to be Green Lantern. And we don't know which Green Lantern it was, but I'm under the impression it was probably going to be Jon Stewart. Hopefully. I'm praying that it would have been Jon Stewart. So we were, I, once I found out about that, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Y'all can let him do this? This is a blockbuster thing going on here. Three fucking movies? Come on, bro. I was, I was looking forward to that. And they were trying to go for that same thing with the Avengers. I, I think they said more heroes would have been added as time went on. Like in the second movie, they would have added some more heroes. Third movie, a lot of heroes. Uh, Joker, because you see Jesus Joker is in this. And I, I'm thinking to myself, oh, what? Why is there a Jesus Joker? But come to find out, this is after, you know, Dark Side and then his thing and then ran rabbit all over the place. So why are they now showing this now? Come to find out, Zack Snyder has been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting to release his cut. And now we're finally getting it because fans wanted to see it. A lot of it, I just wanted to see it because I like I, I like superheroes. So let's go on and talk about it. Let's I want to see this. Can y'all go on and put it out? And uh, as we get closer and closer to the actual release date of the said movie or series, they release little snippets of like trailers, teasers, all that stuff. But it's not just that. They are not just talking about jo Zack Snyder's Justice League, but also talking about Josh Whedon's version and how bad it was. Like they're running this man's his project or his movie through the mud. They're running this dude's name through the mud. I'm just like some of the stuff. I'm like, why were y'all not saying that at the beginning when he had first started making this movie? Like I don't understand what, what, why they're doing what they're doing. They're talking so much shit about the dude. And it's like, man, if that's how y'all felt about the movie, why did y'all put it out? They were all like coming to terms like, hey, yeah, the movie was shit. Now, Christopher Nolan, if you know who Christopher Nolan is, he made the Batman movies, you know, Dark Knight, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Re Batman Returns or Dark Knight Returns, you know, those movies. He's a good friend of Zack Snyder and he's seen Justice League. And he even told Zack Snyder, hey, man, don't watch the movie because Zack Snyder has not watched the movies at all which i think is bullshit i'm like come on bro really you gonna really sit there and say that you ain't watched this movie it's being played fucking everywhere you're gonna tell me that you haven't watched the movie i call bullshit but hey if it's true it's true i, I just call bullshit because i'm like that don't make no sense why would you not watch something that you were supposed to direct just to see what what's the hype like why are people saying it's so bad i would have watched it and be all like all right i see where he done messed up at so i'm gonna make it better so there's a lot of things he said he was not going to do in this movie. And then one thing is comedy. There's not going to be no jokes in this movie. It's going to be straight up balls to the walls, 100% serious. So it was like, you know, Batman just brooding all the time. Superman being all uh, Boy Scoutish. Uh, Wonder Woman being a hot piece of ass that she is. Cyborg being all depressed because, you know, he's part cyborg and, you know, wanting to be a cyborg. And a Flash just, you might as well mute the Flash and Aquaman just being the king of water. You know, The Flash is the only person I would sit here and say is our comic relief. And everybody knows The Flash can have some little corny quips here and there. You know, funny little puns. Because I think he's the youngest out of the group, to be honest with you. But he said none of that. None of that. Zack Snyder was like, nah, ain't no jokes here, cuz. I'm like, bro, that's 
just just a little jokes a little bit here and there i mean i guess when he watches the avengers and stuff he can see that you know they have a little bit here and there they have some little funny moments sprinkled in throughout the whole, some of the mo- part of the movies and like i like that i like that lighthearted now everything got to be gloom and doom and gray and gray and black and brown and blue and all that shit i mean when batman pull up we already know first thing that comes to mind is i'm batman that's all you mean that's all he got to say the whole movie I'm like bro why are you why are you? In some days you can't even understand what batman is saying like in the dark knight movies i could barely understand what christian bell was saying as batman now ben affleck uh, yeah, man, you know eh. but it doesn't have to be all gloom and doom you know it doesn't always have to be edgy you know I think sometimes when you're too edgy, the movie's not that great. But I could be wrong. You know, somebody I seen on Facebook couldn't really give us a legit, legit reason why he says that Zack Snyder movies are ass. Because Zack Snyder made 300. And I love fucking 300. You know, this is Sparta. Kicks dude in the chest. Dude falls into a hole. Love that movie. Every time it comes out, I gotta watch it. Because it's just full of funny shit. It wasn't supposed to be funny, but the some of the stuff they said in the movie, some of the stuff they did in the movie was just hilarious. And I love the movie to this day because of that. So I'm thinking, will this be another 300? Par- will this be like 300 where we watch these either? Because this is a four hour long movie. And I'm like, I don't even think Lord of the Rings was that fucking long, but I could be wrong. But it's just, I hope. It's not like Lord of the Rings or the Harry Potter movies. Because sometimes that shit can drag out. Batman vs. Superman at the beginning was like fucking like like pulling teeth. It was so fucking slow. And I remember going to go see the movie the day it came out. And I'm just all like, yo, when are they going to fucking fight? Like we came here. Let's see. The Dark Knight versus Superman. Oh, I forgot. what's uh, The Man of Tomorrow. There we go. The Man of Tomorrow. Like, come on, bro. The only thing I liked about the movie was when Batman asked, do you bleed? Because you're gonna. And I'm like, oh, shit. This nigga taking shots, bro. This nigga straight wilding. He said, I'll make you bleed, boy. And that's the ultimate shots fired. If I was Superman, I would have faded him right there. Like, oh, for real? Then shit. He, Superman told Batman to stop being Batman, which is kind of funny because you know he's not going to. But as, like I said, Batman or Superman was just pulling teeth. And on top of that, too, they picked the wrong person to play Lex Luthor. Like, really? The way he was acting, I'm like, he was acting more like a Riddler or a Joker than a Lex Luthor. So I'm just all like, bad choice. Then on top of that, too, Deathstroke. They had Deathstroke at the end of the movie. I'm like, dog, at that post credits, because you know, superhero movies nowadays want to do the post credits. Don't know why. I mean, not everybody can do it, but they did it. And they had Deathstroke. And I'm like, it's not going anywhere with Deathstroke. Because I'm like, so what's next? Because coming to find out, Zack Snyder's not going to be making another Justice League movie. After this, WB wants nothing to do with him or Josh Whedon. So me personally, I'm thinking to myself, why are y'all doing this? Why? I, I like It's hard to believe and hard to understand that these fools are going to let him make this four-hour movie and think that, okay, there's not nothing going to come from it. Now, if it does numbers and people actually like it and they talk highly about it and they talk, give it great reviews and stuff, maybe, just maybe. But for right now, they're not fucking with him. And WB is probably be the most shitty people that I've ever done, heard about, read about, seen in my life. Zack Snyder went through a tragedy in his life. And instead of holding off and letting him finish a the project, they said, no, fuck that. We're going to put this movie out regardless if he's the director or not. Somebody's going to direct this goddamn movie. And it's just pathetic in so many ways how they did this. I feel the need that I felt like yeah, they should have waited. They would have got, I wouldn't say it would have been an A++ movie, but they still would at least got something that was really good. Josh Whedon was just given something that WWE wanted them, WWE, I said WWE, WB wanted him, them to do. They wanted to hit this video, to, this movie to be like this. And Josh Whedon was all like, okay, and went with it. I'm just all like, bro, come on now. Now, with all the stuff in the background, like Cyborg, the man that plays Cyborg, he's causing a ruckus behind the scenes. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't really try to be in no, you know, you know, celebrity drama like that because it's not worth the time nor effort. I mean, like, 
if y'all don't want to deal with this dude, re recast him as some, get somebody else that'll play Cyborg. I can give you a good list of African American actors that can play Cyborg. Or y'all could just take Cyborg off and put another character that knows how to deal with technology. They have a lot of people that know how to deal with technology. I also seen Martian Manhunter was gonna be there too. And something about Green Lantern. Martian Manhunter should have been in the original Justice League movie. To be, be completely honest with you. I felt like they should have fought the white Martians like they did in the animated series instead of Darkseid. But uh, I guess they didn't want to. That's how you could have made it four movies. The first movie could have been them fighting the, uh, the white Martians. Then as Darkseid sees that, okay, they fight the white Martians. And he sees that, okay, this planet is full of strong um warriors and stuff he can enslave them and make them into what he wants them to do and that's when the second movie come around and that's when you deal with Stephen wolf and all this stuff third movie come around that's when dark side comes down to try to take over third and a you know, fourth and final movie would be the justice league retaliating and defeating dark side and his crew that would have been awesome actually we also get to see dark side and his crew you know Stephen wolf granny goodness um I think there's more people i forget their names but i know of like uh, uh stephen wolf and granny goodness because those two are his main two that he you know highly highly respects and had you know right hand man and it's funny too because stephen wolf is older than dark side matter of fact stephen wolf is the uncle of dark side dark side is this stephen wolf's nephew so you would think that like damn because wouldn't you be running shit but clearly he ain't because he ain't that strong now i don't know if the anti-life equation is going to be brought up in this or not it hasn't been mentioned yet but when you're dealing with dark side you're dealing with the anti-life equation it always always for some reason every time he pops up that pops up and the reason why i say that is pretty much dc that's dc's version of like i guess the infinity gauntlet or the infinity stone except there's only one so we just have to wait and see where things well when, how things go how things are played out and see where things go from there but other than that guys i appreciate y'all watching these videos man you know i don't talk about dc a lot and i feel bad because there's a lot of stuff that does go on in the dc community that i do want to talk about and i just happen to talk about this now so other than that guys like comment subscribe share with your friends and family that loves my content and all this other stuff but other than that guys before i leave take care of yourself mental health is a strong thing that I, I really 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 stress can't stress enough about is that you should take care of yourself take time out your day to pamper yourself it might be 20 minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes maybe a couple seconds breathe in breathe out think about what you're gonna eat later on you know the stresses of the day work you know everything just sit back take a breath and just find your inner peace then go back to work or whatever. But other than that, guys, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.